Hey guys, today I'm doing a parody of um, cooking. Well, not really cooking if you watch the video. It's kind of me just embarrassing myself with an assistant. Jenner, okay? But yeah, if you get offended by this, it's just a joke. So please don't get offended. My chin. Okay, see you on the video. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Cooking with Corbin. Today we'll be making salami cheese Frito roll ups. Sounds good, honeys. Um, uh, PB and J and M. Guess what the M is in the comments below. Sandwiches and smorios. Sounds good. Okay, for the salami and cheese roll up, we're gonna need some salami, cheese, mayonnaise, and Fritos. Wait, do we need ham? No. Oh. Cause we ran out of that yesterday in the ham and cheese special. <laughs> Okay. Ooh, ooh, and we need a pineapple. You may be guessing why we need a pineapple. There's actually a very important reason. They just look cool. It doesn't serve any purpose. I like pineapples. Back off, liberals. Okay, um, and our plate and fork. And for some reason, there's a fork with the plate. So first, we're gonna, so y'all can see. First, we're gonna open up the salami. Smells good. Yeah. Wrap you up with some salami later. My hanky touching stuff. So I'm so tall. Just kidding. Uh, the cheese. We need some mayonnaise first. Because I'm slow. So, here's the fork. You. Convenient. That was almost a mishap. Mayonnaise looks weird. Have you ever noticed that? Ugh, that's too much mayonnaise. We'll save the mayonnaise for later, in case we want some more. Then you slap the cheese on there. Bam! Trash! Sorry, I got a little English. I need some Doritos on there. Not Doritos, Fritos for all you deaf people. I'm trying to read lips. Woman. Then you're gonna crush them up a little bit. Not too much, but you know, a little bit. That's um that's our appetizer. And you roll it up. For all you um people following along at home, that's um how you make the salami and cheese roll up. So yeah. Oh wait, first forgot you gotta heat it up in the microwave. So, I will be putting that in the microwave right now. Heat that up for 30 seconds. Now, in this 30 seconds time, we're going to take time to see what we're blessed for. Cheese, all the cheese, man. And, yeah, so, what do y'all think? Um, y'all think it looks good in the comment section be below, you know? Yeah, and things almost ready, so I'm gonna go get it out. Mm. Probably shouldn't have put that in there for that long. Cooking with Corbin, everybody! It smells good. So now we're in the second segment of Cooking with Corbin today. I mean, now we're gonna be doing the PB and J and M sandwiches. So if you haven't put down your guess for the M, go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go get the ingredients for my um, PB and J out of my PB and J cabinet. So if you're ever visiting and you want some PB and J, come to this cabinet. But of course, 
much we don't keep the jelly in there because then it'll get bad. So we gotta go keep that out of the fridge. Don't want any. Jelly, 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 jelly. We got some Smucker's Squeeze Grape Jelly. We're not sponsored, by the way. I wish I was. I love you. Push the ingredients book back. So, first, if you've never made peanut butter and jelly, then you're not a human. Two pieces of bread. I prefer John Durst bread because it's yellow. And I like Asians. Just kidding. Um, so, you open up the peanut butter jar. Take some of that sweet, sweet mm, peanut butter butter. And you want to... <laughs> Oops. Okay. <laughs> you want to... Uh, this does not usually happen. Let me take this off so I don't get dirty. I'm a professional. And you want to put that in. And because we're not wasteful, we're going to go put it back on. Mm. Perfect. And now, for the moment we've all been waiting for, the jelly on the peanut butter butter that's sticky come on oh yeah get out of there fam mm. Mm. now is anybody watching is anybody watching uh Ever seen the movie Bench Warmers? Because if you had, the guy asked for a peanut butter and jelly with mayonnaise. We're trying that. Lord, I hope this is good. Okay, you don't want to put too much because then <coughs> it just chokes me out thinking about it. Okay, you put it together. And we're done with these two utensils. Uh, I'm not liking that. There you go, folks. Nice peanut butter and jelly with mayonnaise. We're gonna put that together with our um, with our appetizer. And once you're done with all the stuff, you have to clean up. If you don't clean up, you're a liberal. For all the liberals watching. Okay, well, actually, I don't clean up. The assistant does. She's a slave. I don't promote silver, slavery. Y'all like my pineapple? It's pretty cool, huh? Oh, yeah, and there's still some peanut butter stuck right there. Take off your hat and go, uh, uh. That's really good. You know, this is also some cleaning tips. You gotta be like a dog. My dog doesn't like peanut butter. Wherever she went. And yeah, that was the second segment of Cuckoo McCorbin. Are we still here? Oh, hi guys. They saved time we um, pre-roasted the marshmallows and they're a little ashy. Um, but yeah, s'moreo. Why is this Oreo hot? It's weird. Okay, so to save time, we already roasted the marshmallows. To get the icing out. You gotta do that. Right. This was better when I was a kid. Hmm. Bam! Got all the icing off. You take a marshmallow. Bam. You need both marshmallows, actually. <laughs> Put that one like that. That one like that. Mmm, s'moreo. Mm, whoa. Bam, s'moreo. This one's a um, a little more burnt and crusty. This one's the assistance. Um, she gets that one. 
And at the same time, I'm not gonna lick this off, you know. Oh my gosh, she's a monster. Yes, I am. Savagery. Kobe! Okay, I had to add that bag in. See, if you leave a little bit of icing on, it may taste better. Like that. And then, yoink. This one came off a lot easier. But yeah, so, we have our desserts. Appetizer. Meal. Actually, let's reposition that. Okay, we're going to start off with the appetizer. I need to do pork. Half so, um, so my assistant can actually have some later. So, yeah. Whoa, this thing's a little, a little hard. Okay. And I think the cheese has been hardening for a bit. from Ruben. Other than that, not bad. And now the sandwich. This is the ones y'all been waiting for. I think. Oh yeah. I messed up on cutting a little bit, but you know. I didn't get any of the mayonnaise yet. Dessert to lighten the mood. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I need a drink. <laughs> My thumb is gonna fall off. <sighs> That's better. I recommend the sandwich. Oh my gosh, that's so good. You gotta try this. You gotta make this. Okay. Mm. S'moreos. So, if you comment down whatever um, food was your favorite. Um, you'll be entered in a chance for a giveaway. I don't know what it is yet, but we'll find out.